channel. My name's Emily, the blogger behind Emily Essentially that offers you Midwest life and style tips with feminine flair. I wanted to do my very first makeup tutorial for all of you and thought I would do something fun, flirty, and bold to show off my personality. So that's why I settled on this colorful, glittery, smoky eye. If you want to see how you can accomplish this look, then just keep on watching. See you guys soon. First things first, I primed my eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and blended it in with my fingers to create a neutral base to build on the shadow. Then I went ahead and set that with a powder brush for the easiest and smoothest shadow application possible. Then I grabbed my Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette and dipped into the shades Beaches and Cream and Sora to start building up my crease definition with a larger fluffy crease brush. I'm working this in in windshield wiper motions, taking my time, going back and forth to compare both eyes, have a nice even definition of the lightest brown neutral shades. Next, going back into that same palette, I'm going to grab Sora and Frappe on a smaller, denser crease brush, and I'm working that in with the same windshield wiper and circular motions to get that nice and blended. This is going to further define the crease and give us a little bit more of a smokier, deep look. Finally, on a more pointed crease brush, I'm layering in Frappe and the red color in the palette called Mars to really define, smoke out, and add some color into the look. The pointed brush aids in a more precise application exactly where I want it to really deposit that color so I can go in and further blend it out in the next step. To further buff out that red Mars shade, I'm going to grab a little bit more of Sora and Frappe on that larger crease brush to really give a seamless edge to this smoky eye. Now for the real fun, I'm picking up the Glazen Eye Gloss by Butter London in the color Oil Slick. This reminds me a lot of MAC's blue-brown pigment, just with a wet, glittery finish. I'm patting this onto the negative space on my lid with a flat shader brush for a pop of contrasting color. Once that's been applied to my liking, I grabbed my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the color Distortion, which reflects a whitish green, to add even more glitter to my lids on top of Oil Slick. I dabbed it lightly to ensure the color underneath still shows through. Next, I tight lined my upper inner eyelids with Max Black Eye Coal in Smolder so that I had a nice dark waterline. And then I applied L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on my natural lashes to prep for falsies. Next up, I prep my false lashes using the Dark Tone Duo Eyelash Adhesive and I placed a nice, even, thin coat across the entire lash band. This pair here is the Flutter and Shayla collaboration called Slayla Lashes. I placed them down and tacked down the inner and outer corners with precision using my tweezers to ensure that there is a nice, close fit to the lash line across the entire eye. As you can see, one lash on, one lash off, it's a huge difference, isn't it? Obviously use the same lash application as you did for the first eye, and once both are on securely, take a look in the mirror to ensure they both look even at the same angle. Alright, looking good, both lashes on, now onto the face. Starting with primer, I grab my Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm in Sensitive to prime the skin for long wearing foundation. The glycerin ingredient in it helps lock in your makeup for all day wear, which is a huge plus. Once the primer felt tacky to the touch, I went in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I'm in the shade 3.25, which they classify on their site as light with a neutral undertone. I'm pouncing this in with my damp Real Technique sponge, and as you can see, this puppy really is full coverage, even with just one pump. Now for the under eyes, I use the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in the shade 10 Fair. I dot this under my eyes for dark circle coverage and blend it into the high points of my face to highlight and add back in some dimension. I'm using my Beauty Blender again to pounce this into the skin for the most flawless finish. To set all the work we did with the foundation and concealer, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Pressed Powder in the color 110 Porcelain on a big powder brush. I pat this in under my eyes and on the rest of my face to ensure that my foundation and concealer stay locked in place all day long. 
Next up, it's time to warm up the face with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And oh my gosh, you guys, you have to smell this. It's just like vacation. I'm using this on the outer perimeter of the face to warm it up and get ready to contour. Now on to the real contouring. I picked up my Benefit Cheekathon palette and dipped into the cult classic Hula Bronzer. I used a more defined bronzer brush to really carve out my cheekbones and the perimeter of my face to add in the most dimension in a natural looking way. Keeping with that same palette, I grabbed the Rocketeur blush and dusted it onto the apples of my cheeks. This rose gold hue adds a nice flush to the face. Now onto everyone's favorite part, the highlight. I grabbed Mary Luminizer by the balm and dusted it onto the high points of my cheeks. Check out that glow. After dusting it on both cheekbones, I apply to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow for ultimate impact and all day glow. Next up is this blonde's arch nemesis eyebrows. Although they aren't my favorite, they are a necessary evil for a complete makeup look. So after spooling through them, I dipped into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and Blonde and started creating that under arch, filled in the front and outlined the top so that I could color in the inside portion for a fully filled in brow. Once that was complete, I combed through with the spoolie to give the most natural effect. Great brow, needs a little work on the other side, but hey, we're getting there. Then to complete the same steps on the other side, I outlined the under arch, filled in the front, completed the top outline, and filled in the brow fully for a fluffy and full brow effect. To lock all my hard work into place, I combed the Ulta Brow Tint Mascara in light through both brows for a polished finish. Dipping back into the Mani MUA and Makeup Geek palette, I grabbed Artemis on a small defining brush to highlight the brow bone. This creates some nice separation between the eyebrow and the smoky eye makeup. I also popped this on the inner corners to highlight and bring some definition there as well. To continue the look, I'm grabbing Frappe and Aphrodite on a shader brush and packing these along the lash line. This is going to smoke out the lower lash line and connect the upper and lower shadow together. In a final step, I'm grabbing Beaches and Cream and Sora on a fluffy brush to buff out the last two colors for a seamless effect. Because I'm a glutton for glitter, I'm adding some more of the Distortion Urban Decay Glitter on top of that Artemis highlight in the inner corner for some added sparkle. I'm going in with the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara to coat my lower lashes to define them and make them pop against the shadow. And going in one more time with the MAC Eye Coal in the color Smolder, I'm tightlining my lower lash line to add a more smoky and nighttime effect. Now that the eyes and the face are complete, we're on to lips. And I'm gonna start off with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Aquarius, which is a collaboration with one of my favorite gurus here on YouTube, Kathleen Lights. First, I start by outlining and filling in my lower lip, and I mimic that same tactic on the top outlining and filling in for a full effect to be ready for our matte liquid lip. For the finishing touch, I'm grabbing the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Baby Doll to cover up all of the lip liner that we just applied. This is a nice peachy nude shade, a little bit lighter than the lip liner, but that balances out to give us that nice pinky nude that we're looking for to coordinate with the eyes and finish with a matte look and feel. This NYX option is something that's great to add to your collection if you're looking for a matte nude that's really affordable. And that completes today's look. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for watching my very first makeup tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment down below to let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Other makeup tutorials, product reviews, swatches, anything. I'm willing and ready to share my makeup collection with all of you. So leave me a comment down below, click that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with all of my latest content. In the meantime, head on over to emilyessentially.com to check out all of my latest posts as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye.